or this is Evangelist Michael Fernandez. Before we go into our program today, I would like to introduce to you my two books, awesome books, Power of the Cross, How God Delivered Me and Healed Me, Praise Be to God, and also The Gifts of the Holy Ghost and Deliverance and How to Operate in the Gifts. Please order on Amazon or go to my website at WWMF Ministry. Praise be to God. Let's go into our show today. Our wonderful. Hallelujah. La Evangelista Miguel Fernandez, Evangelist Michael Fernandez. Today we're going to be talking about the last days. These are the last days. But I recommend you to follow us on the scriptures. Te recomiendo que sigan nosotros. Y si no leo la escritura en español, me pueden seguir el Apocalipsis, el último libro de la Biblia, vamos a hablar de los últimos días antes que viene Jesucristo. Uh, necesitamos estar listo en viviendo arrepentido alante de Jehová. We need to be living right before the Lord and serving God. And today we're going to be talking about the last days. Let's go to Revelations. Uh, uh, we're going to read Revelations um, 16, verse 12. Uh, Apocalipsis 16, versículo 12, versículo 13, versículo 14, versículo 15, en versículo 16. Si lo voy a leer en inglés, sígueme a todos que están escuchando, léelo en español, porque en español a veces unas palabras no salen bien. Uh, follow me, we're going to be talking about uh, the Euphrates River. Uh, uh, el Euphrates River. River, el, el agua ya está seco, te está secando, porque la profecía ya está aquí, ya está manifestando. Ya es tiempo de estar listo o lista, arrepentido, en viviendo para Jehová. It's time to be better be living right and serving the Lord, because these are the prophecies being fulfilled. We're going to read it. It's happening now. Go on Google, go on en la computadora and más a ver Euphrates River ya está seco, ya se está secando uh, and you go to Google and look at Euphrates River and you can see that it's already drying up and it is actually dried up uh, so let's go and that river came from the Garden of Eden uh, nos vamos a leer, están listos read verse 12, versículo 12, lo voy a leer en inglés, por favor sígueme, esos que están escuchando, porque vamos a estar hablando de Euphrates River. I'll say, then the sixth angel poured out the bow of the great river Euphrates, que el ángel, le, el ángel trajo castigo del el, 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 de Euphrates, and then, and it says, and the water was dried up. So, did you hear that? It dried up. The angel, God sent the angel. Judgment is already here. I don't know how many judgments are going to happen before Jesus comes, but I normally most judgments are coming after the rapture. But right now, we've seen things happen now. Go online and see for yourself. Euphrates River is dried up. It's drying up. So, listen to what it says. And the sixth angel, yeah, que el, el agua ya se estaba a secar porque el castigo ya comenzó. Yo no sé cuánto castigos va a pasar antes que Cristo viene. A unos que van a pasar antes, unos que van a pasar pas, cuando ya se fue Jesús. Ok, pero ya está aquí. Porque te puedes ver en la computadora en ver Euphrates River. Es está seco o no. Ok. And then the sixth angel poured out his bow of, on the great river of Euphrates. But the water was dried up. ¿Por qué está secando? Why is it drying up? So that the way of the kings from the east might be prepared. Para que los reyes de todo lado del mundo puedan pasar porque va a comenzar la guerra. El último parte de guerra contra Israel, contra todos, es una guerra horrible. 
and said, the, the why is it drying up for the kings of east to come red china all these other uh, countries they're going to begin to war against israel and against god they're, they're telling you know this is fixing to happen i don't know when what time we don't know when jesus is coming but it's near nearer than ever been because right here it says god will pour out uh, judgment and the river will dry up guess what it's dried up and mira aquí está diciendo que se va uh, no va a tener agua ya está sec ya está como uh, seco para que para que los reyes eh, eh, la guerra comienza amén vamos a seguir para adelante it says for the king in verse 13 it says and i saw three unclean spirits uh, like frogs coming out of the mouth of the dragon and out of the mouth of the uh, beast and out of the mouth of the false prophet. Uh, I dice que el va a salir espíritus como sapos saliendo de la boca del, del anticristo, del el, 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 el falso profeta. Eh, nosotros no sabemos if si la falso profeta en, la, en, la, en el anticristo. Yo sé que está vivo, pero no sabemos dónde está. Porque todavía no está listo para salir. Pero eh, Dios dice que esos demonios van a salir de la boca de ese diablo. Pero ¿qué va a hacer esos demonios? Those demons, those frog demons are going to come out. But for what? To cause chaos. To start war. Okay, listen. And listen to this. It says, for the spirit of demons perform signs and they will go out to the kings of the earth. And out of the whole world, or gather them a battle for a great day of the Almighty. Eves, los demonios, con versículo 14, van a salir de ese man, de la boca de ese anticristo. De, no sabemos si el anticristo está vivo. Yo sé que necesita estar vivo, porque ya la hora, no, ya, ya, ya mero viene que no sabemos, porque todas las cosas está enseñando, todo que estamos esperando que Cristo viene. Porque ya todo está hecho. Para que viene. Everything's complete. Jesus is coming. We don't know the hour of the day. But he says we better be waiting, watching. Because these are the last days. And we're going to see. And we're going to continue this topic next week. Because it's, it's so much to get talk about. Okay? Okay. And, and, and la cosa dice que los demonios va a tratar agarrar toda la gente de la rey los de toda otra parte del mundo para comenzar una guerra eh, muchos dicen ese va a pasar uh, cuando ya Jesucristo ya se fue uh, yo yo estoy de acuerdo con eso I agree with that, that it might happen after Jesus leaves and takes up the church but the river is already dry so that part of the judgment has already started okay now, regarding the war, the war of Magidin, I don't. Uh, it, that's supposed to happen after the rapture, but uh, the president is already talking about going to war against Russia, which is the dumbest thing to do. But he's already talking about it, and 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 the uh, president is hablando que quiere ir a guerra contra Russia. Es una cosa locura, pero es así es. Los demonios están entrando. Los líderes para hacer una guerra mundial. Ya viene Cristo. Ok. Vamos a decir. Ese es. En el versículo 15. Ese es capítulo 16 de Apocalipsis. Versículo 15. Behold, the coming as a thief. Blessed he who watches and keeps his garment. Lest he walks naked and they see his shame. Ahí dice, necesita estar, uh, porque viene como un, un ladrón. Esas cosas van a, necesitamos estar alerto, mirando, arrepentido, viviendo alante de Jehová. Ok, and then listen to verse 16. Vamos a leer el versículo 16. Ok, capítulo, uh, 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 versículo 16. Ok, and they gathered them together. To a place called in Hebrew Armageddon. There it is. So uh, um, we believe that the Armageddon war battle would happen after Christ takes up the church. 
but the river is already dry. Look it up yourself. We are living. These are the last days. So get ready. We, Jesus is fixing to come. Jesus. Jesus. Un, me visitó uh, en visión. Cuando me estaba muriendo, me sanó. Y me dijo en 2010. Dile, mis hijos, que ya vengo. El tiempo está cerca. Dile, mis hijos, la iglesia, que ya mero vengo. And Jesus told me in the vision of 2010 when I was dying, but God healed me. Claro, Dios me sanó en dos mil días. Me dijo que ya viene, el tiempo está cerca. And Jesus told me, tell my church I'm coming, the time is near. And that was in 2010. So I, <laughs> Jesus stood there in front of me. I don't know when. But get ready. I'm excited. This is this world is not ours. Ese mundo no nos vamos a pasar por ese mundo. Aleluya. Now, vamos a leer Apocalipsis 9, versículo 13, versículo 14, versículo 15. Me sigues porque así puedes leer ustedes. Eh, si caso no le leo en español, ustedes ya saben más o menos de qué estoy hablando. Ok, vamos a ver el Apocalipsis, uh, 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 capítulo 9, versículo 13. ¿Están listos? Ok. Are you ready? Uh, Revelations 9, verse, uh, chapter 9, verse 13. Are you ready? Here we go. In the sixth angel sound and heard a voice from the four horns of the golden altar, which is before God. Ahí dice que el, el, el ángel número seis uh, sonó la trompeta. La trompeta. Okay. Uh, okay. In that verse 14. In saying, da diciendo, que el sixth angel who had the trumpet, que tenía la trompeta, release que suelta los cuatro ángeles who were bound at the great Euphrates. Did you hear that? Read it one more time. Vamos a leer. Diciendo el ángel que necesitamos sueltar de la trompeta que dice que suelta los cuatro ángeles que son demonios más graves del diablo, del Santana, más peor de él. And dice, it says, and they were bound for the great Euphrates River. Estaban abajo del, uh, el, el, del, del river. Uh, estaban marados por cadenas por medio de Jehová. Esos ángeles son los ángeles que tenían uh, relaciones con mujeres en antes. Pero esos ángeles van a salir. Eh, eh, yo no sé cuándo but dice en, en la primera escritura cuando ya está seco los ángeles lo, Dios va a mandar el ángel pa, la, que suelta esos demonios esos cuatro demonios ángeles del diablo and right there I don't know when this is going to happen but we are on the verge uh, you already seen the river dry it, it's making way for the big war of Magadan we don't know the war when it's going to start, but we know the Antichrist is here somewhere, but he's not being revealed yet because God is holding them back. But those demons are already out. But now these demons here, otro ángeles demonios, son especiales que van a salir, and Dios le va a dejar salir para castigar el mundo. And that time, when these angels come out, hell on earth, it says here, and the sixth angel had a trumpet released the four angels who were bound at the great Euphrates River. And so, verse 15, so the four angels who had been prepared for the hour and the day and the month and year were released to kill one third of mankind. Oye, this, aquí dice que el ángel, los cuatro ángeles, están preparados para la hora, en la día, en el mes, en el año, para estar sueltos, para matar one third of mankind. 
How do you think they're going to kill one? Through war, through bactonic uh, bombs, uh, chaos. And this is going to happen, but I don't know when these are going to release. Uh, I, people speculate, a unos que piensan que ya están, ya están, pero no sabemos, porque dice, esos demonios van a salir para instigar una guerra con los otros demonios que son de sapo. Those angels and the demon angels uh, uh, that came out of the mouth of the dragon, they're going to instigate the war Magidden. They're here. Uh, but, uh, but I don't know when this is going to happen. Hopefully it happens after, uh, it's going to happen after this, the rapture. But all I got to say, the river is dry. And we better be living before the Lord, because these are the last days. Hallelujah. Lea la resto de la escritura. I'll speak a mas. Read the rest of the scripture, but he talks a lot more. Now, uh, vamos a seguir más adelante de esa escritura. Aquí dice en Thessalonians. ¿Están listos? Okay, here we go. Thessalonians, First Thessalonians 4, versículo 13. Hasta el versículo 18. ¿Están listos? Here we go. We're going to have to continue this next week because it's a lot. Okay. But I would not have you ignorant, brethren, concerning those. Uh, first Thessalonians, 1 Thessalonians 4, versículo 13, hasta el versículo 18. Por favor, leer conmigo. He says, But I would you not have you be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep. That you sorrow not as others who have no hope. For we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so then also which sleep in Jesus will God will bring with him. Did you hear that? And uh, will bring with him. For, they, for this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive will remain unto the coming of the Lord, should not prevent them that are asleep, should not prevent them that are asleep. Okay. Did you hear that? Would not prevent them that are asleep. Okay. Cuando Jesucristo viene, when Jesus comes, the rapture, okay, they'll sound the trumpet, and we will see Jesus coming, okay? But the dead in Christ will rise first, but he's coming with the saints, Okay? He's coming with the saints. Those saints are coming to reunite with their bodies to be glorified, to reunite. See, your body is in the coffin, dust to dust, but your spirit and soul is with God. The Bible said to be out of the body is to be present with the Lord. You have to understand, the only thing that's resurrecting is your body to reunite with God the person who's already dead with their spirit so so they could become one and glorified. Then we will be caught up after that into heaven. Okay? And see, there are people that believe in soul sleep. There are people like Armstrong, Jehovah Witness, uh, Church of Christ. They believe that when you die, you stay in your coffin. No, your body does, but your spirit, the Bible said to be out of the body is to be present with the Lord. See? See, to prove that, remember the Lazarus, the rich man? Where was Lazarus? And where was the rich man? He was in Hades. And the other one was in paradise. See, he didn't stay in the coffin. His spirit man, his body did. So that proves to you we don't stay in a coffin. Okay. Ahora, para hablar en español, para explicarte. Cuando Jesucristo viene, va a venir con los uh, santos, los hijos de Dios que ya murieron, que son cristianos. Los, los cuerpos van a estar levantados. Para que se ponen unado uh, juntos con la, la cual el espíritu alma que, de los cristianos que uh, vinieron por su cuerpo. Para que puedan estar como Jesucristo con cuerpo glorificado. Cuando ese pasa, nosotros, cuando ellos van a ir primero, entonces nosotros vamos a ir con él. Uh, ok, pero la cosa es, uh, la cosa que quiero explicarte, uh, muchos Tan, tienen mal concepto, tienen mal concepto de creen que uno muere 
se queden adentro en la caja. ¿Ok? Eh, nosotros, tu carne, tu cuerpo, si se quede en, en, en uh, ¿cómo te llama? Adentro de la, la, en la, en la caja. En no, tu espíritu, un alma, está con Jehová. Porque hay religiones, como el testigo de Jehová, Armstrong, creen que nosotros esperamos hasta el día de la rapto para que yo, no, tu cuerpo se va a, a estar levantado porque Jesucristo viene con los santos y hijos que ya murieron para que se ponen con su cuerpo, para que puedan tener glorificado. Porque para probar esto, ¿te acuerdas? Cuando el, el hombre rico murió, el hombre, el hombre Lázaro murió, uno estaba en el infierno, otro estaba en paradise, ahí estaban comunicando, ¿recuerdas? No estaban adentro de la caja. Su cuerpo se queda, pero tu espíritu, alma está con Jehová. Amén. Para que puedas entender eso, es bien importante. Ok. Uh, la cosa es, uh, el cuerpo necesita estar glorificado. Dice aquí en 1 Corintios uh, 15, 50. Ok. ¿Están listos? Uh, 1 Corintios 15, 50. Now this I say, brethren, by the f that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, neither does corruption or inherit corruption. Behold, I show you mystery. We shall not all sleep, but all shall be changed in the moment in the twinkling of an eye, the last trumpet, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead in Christ will rise incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For the incorruptible must put on incorruptible, And the immortal must put on immortality, so that the corruption should be put into incorruption, and mortal should be put in mortality. Then you should be brought to pass, saying, The dead is swallowed up in victory, is swallowed, is defeated. Está diciendo que tu cuerpo va a estar glorificado. Nosotros que estamos aquí, uh, hasta miras atrás, el Euphrates River ya está seco. Ya está seco. Ah, hermano, ya Cristo viene. Aleluya. Uh, ojalá que estamos pidiendo que Dios, uh, que nosotros necesitamos testificar, hablar de Jesucristo a, a, a la gente. Que ya Jesucristo, there it is, your fractures is dried up. It's showing the angel already brought judgment. It's already manifest. Hallelujah. Don't get scared. Get excited because Jesus is coming. We're fixing it. Boop. We're going to be glorified. If you don't believe in the rapture, you could keep my house. I gave you my key. And you could keep my car. I don't care because I'm gone. Yo me voy a ir con Jesús. Tú puedes quedar con mi carro, mi casa. Si tú crees que te vas a quedar, que no hay un rapture. Tú te puedes quedar con porque yo me voy por el cielo, porque ahí voy a tener una mansión con Jesucristo. Aleluya. Gloria a Dios. En aquí leemos en 1 Corintios. Ok. Uh, vamos a venir la siguiente semana porque muchos están confundidos de, de rapture. Ok, pero vamos a seguir hablando. Acuérdate, Euphrates River. Euphrates River. Ya. Vas a mi website, en, eh, esa es parte del ministerio para ayudarlos. Uh, go to my website and be a part of my ministry. This is the Euphrates River. We're going to be talking about the rapture and how uh, things are going to happen during that time. What's going to happen? Uh, uh, please tune in next week. We just got to read in 1 Corinthians 15.50 in English and Spanish. Please share this with others. And so what do we say, brother? It gets uh, that our body is going to be glorified in the twinkling of an eye. Praise be to God. Isn't that wonderful? He says, listen to this. Second Timothy. En segunda Timoteo 3, 1 hasta el versículo 5. Sígueme en español. Y si no le leo, más o menos voy a explicar tantito. Just follow me. And, 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 and sígueme. And, and ustedes pueden seguir en español. Segundo Timothy 3, 
versículo 1 hasta versículo 5. Second Timothy, chapter 3, verse 1 to 5. Also, in this know also, the last days, previous times shall come, that men should be lover of their own self. Did you hear that? They love themselves. Ooh, I'm so, I'm all that in the back of attention. Covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers. They're always cursing God and and, the, the, and disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, with unnatural affections, unnatural affection like homosexuality, uh, uh, trust breakers, false accusers, content, furious, despisers of those who are good, traitors, uh, high-minded lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God, having a form of godliness but denying the power thereof for such turn away. Ese está diciendo a uh, blasfemos, homosexual. Todo eso va a ser horrible. Ahorita está pasando. Porque esos son el último días. Antes que These are the last days. But don't be afraid. Look up. Your salvation draws near for you. Let's accept. Let's, si quiere aceptar Jesucristo, say, Jesús, entra en mi corazón. Yo creo que tú eres el Hijo de Dios. And yo confeso, Jesús es mi Dios y mi Salvador. Entra, limpia me todo mi pecado. Say, Jesus, come in my heart. Be the Lord of my life. And I believe you're the Son of God. And that God has raised you from the dead. I confess Jesus is Lord and Savior. If you said that prayer, email me. Si sientes esa oración, mándame electrónico, email para que sigamos orando por ustedes gloria a Dios para la siguiente semana vamos a completar esa enseñanza on the Euphrates River and in the last days Aleluya Peter God I hope you enjoyed the program today but don't forget about the awesome book on the power of the cross and how God healed me and delivered me and also the gifts of the Holy Ghost how to operate and function and flow in the gifts praise be to God and be a part of our ministry and be looking for us next week and tune in. Praise be to God.